I think probably one word that would sum it up is hideous and shame inducing at times. You feel you are completely alone in the world having this kind of problem because you rarely see people that uh, has the condition as bad as you have. It's relentless. It's all the time, every day, all through the night, often you can't sleep. It affects your life in general, completely. I was called a leper at school. I was asked, did I have a bell? It feels as if you are kind of isolated um, in your own world with this continual itch. Um, that you can't get away from. It's a condition that can easily, very easily lead to depression, low mood uh, and uh, mental issues. There's a really big need amongst the general public to be in a way educated that there's a person behind the skin but the consequences of having atopic dermatitis are actually really significant. You know, it's, it will determine whether you're having a really good day or if you're having a terrible day. It's affected my relationships. It's affected um, my work and it's affected my social life. Um, and physically, it's changed the way that I look. It's a total nightmare because uh, you are feeling unwell both physically and mentally and uh, there is a lot of stress and problems who comes with the condition that people is not always aware of. I would say that at times I definitely felt depressed about it, I definitely felt very anxious about it um, and there were times I didn't want to go out. I've been hospitalized with eczema a few months ago, it was December, and uh, basically I've been hospitalized because my condition started uh, growing worse and worse. I wanted people to know how it is, how it really is to, to struggle with eczema over your life, and how it affects you psychologically and physically, um, from when you're a tiny baby to, to actually now in my 50s and still struggling, really. <laughs>